All right, let's get uh, ready for lunch now. ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher is in the kitchen today. Hi, Judy, what's for lunch? Hi, Scott. Well, speaking of a Mediterranean diet, I was thinking fish. I saw the mussels and I thought how beautiful to bring them out for the last hit maybe of this summer-like weather. So we're gonna take the last of the Florida corn because it's still coming in a little bit more and we're gonna gather it with fresh Atlantic cod that I just picked up at Whole Foods, mussels, you can also add shrimp or clams if you want. The last of the corn, we cut off the cob. We'll saute up some shallots to give it good flavor and then finish it off with a reduced wine and butter. So all brought together, nice and easy, just a couple pans. And we'll have a nice glass of wine today and toast to drier air in our future. I'll be back to start the pans aflow in just a few minutes. All right, let's get back to the kitchen now and check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Judy? Well, I originally worked on this dish using halibut, but halibut can be really expensive. And cod is coming in from New England at a really good price as we're all a little concerned where we're sourcing our fish. So this just melts in your mouth. Now, I started, you can see I have two cod fillets. They're almost the same thickness, so I started them first because as you get down to the tail, it's much thinner and that is gonna cook, require cooking much less. Save a little seasoned flour, salt and pepper, and I put in a little of that fennel salt that I've used before, or fennel powder. If you can't find it at your favorite spice store, like the St. Armand Spice and Tea Exchange, you can always order things like that online. They're just wonderful and they really bring out the essence of the dish. So let's get some more, and even as you get, if you're cutting your own fillets, just remember that even those little tips are gonna add extra flavor. Now we wanna make sure we don't crowd the pan too much, so four fillets are gonna be great. Now this is gonna cook about four minutes per side. What we wanna do is we wanna get one side nice and golden brown, the other side will just let rest. So there are the two thicker pieces. And we'll let these just sit in the pan for about six, seven minutes. I raise the temperature up a little bit. Sometimes cooking on electric is a little bit harder. It's ideal to cook on gas, but we can't all have gas. Preheat that oven to 400 degrees. Number one fish cooking tip, finish it off in the oven. That'll get it from the inside. So you'll have it nice and moisture. I bought some red potatoes. To me, nothing says New England like boiled red potatoes with parsley and butter. It's just such a great thing. That's gonna go in in a few minutes. While you're boiling the potatoes, I actually just made a little pocket with cheesecloth and I put in some crab and shrimp boil spice blend. And again, that's just gonna give it a little bump of flavor. So, as we start to get the cod on the pan to go in the oven. And by all means, you can put this pan, the saute pan in. I'm gonna use something different because I'm gonna come back and show you how to do the mussels. You could do mussels and clams. And I'm just watching the olive oil a little bit. So we're gonna put a little more in that pan. And we're just gonna finish it off with a touch of butter in a couple minutes. So I've taken the corn off the cob. About three ears are gonna be just perfect for this dish. And like I said, it's the end of the summer corn. So you really have to look at it and make sure you find, find the best ones that are still available. I'm going to go ahead and re-season. And then I'm going to put these pieces back into the oven and I'll get the pan ready. I'm not going to scrape anything out because we want all that deliciousness. We'll deglaze with wine as soon as I get back. The healthy lunch is coming together with Chef Judy in our kitchen. Let's get back to Judy to check on it. Thanks, Scott. So I had a half onion left in my refrigerator. I'm gonna saute with shallots anyway, so throw the onion in. I always look in the produce drawer as I'm starting to cook to see if I can add something that might enhance it or I can just use it up. So I have those little bits of the cod that weren't big enough to use as a portion, so that'll just give it more flavor. Now what we're gonna do is we have a little olive oil in the pan. We're gonna add the mussels, steamers if you want, depending on where they're coming in from, but the mussels looked really good, of course, when you're getting those Prince Edward Island mussels. 
So there's the time if you want to add a little more fennel salt, you can. So the wine is going to reduce by half. Now, while it's still steaming, let's add a little butter and let that just melt in. And we're going to add the corn. Now, this is straight from the cob, uncooked. If you were going to use leftover corn, then just cut it off as it is and just add it as you're getting ready to serve because that'll heat up, but then it won't overcook. So we're going to put a cover on that. We're going to go to the oven and double check our fish. And part of the reason why I prefer to cook the fish in the saute pan, and you'll see it, is sometimes cookie sheets will bubble up and that's exactly what this does. So it tips the pan, it's not as, as um, balanced as really you want it. But these are just beautiful pieces and you can see they've started to get golden. Using the flour helps hold them together a little bit and you can certainly use gluten-free flour. So what we need to do now is I can hear the mussels start to steam. We've got that cranked on high, and we're gonna put a little more parsley into these potatoes. I'll do some parsley at the end as well. And, oh yeah, this corn is just gonna start to the juice of the corn is gonna actually start to extract some flavor and sweetness with the mussels. So let's give it one more toss. Now remember, any shells don't open. Those are the ones you discard. You never try to pry them open to eat them. There's a reason why they're not opening. So we're gonna give that about eight minutes until the majority of them pop. If we need to deglaze with wine, just a little bit more. And then just for time's sake, as they are coming together, I'm gonna go ahead and add these potatoes. Now this dish in itself, could just go out if you didn't use cotton, you just use something, say like shrimp, or just the mussels, you can just put the big pan right out there, just like that. So the last thing I'm gonna do is a pinch of lemon and a tablespoon of lemon zest, and that will steam up the mussels. And when I come back, we are ready to serve lunch. It should be pretty light and delicious, and a nice Pinot Grigio to go with it. Mmm, mm, mm, that's so good. Last taste of summer, mm. little Mediterranean style. And you know, steaming things with corn really came from watching mm. Jose Andres, who uses corn in his Spanish cooking a lot. And you know, it's a, it's a better balance instead of adding the calories of sausage. Right. So I think it just gives you that light end of and if the heat wave, John, does this mean I can go back to cooking pumpkin next week? Nope, but <laughs> you can always cook pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin is delicious. That's right. This is really tasty, Judy. Um, obviously, you. kind of a, a, a lower calorie kind of exactly. option for people out and there. And you can omit the great. potatoes. You could use saffron rice or you just the fish and clams and corn as they are. Absolutely delicious. Recipe on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining button. It'll take you right there to Judy's video instructions plus a whole lot more. Judy, thanks so much. Thank you.